While thousands partied in the paddock near Launceston earlier this month, an 18-year-old woman injured her back. A paramedic triaged her an hour later, but she didn't make it to hospital in the back of an ambulance for another six hours. For seven hours, this young woman was strapped to a spine board in the medical hut. This was extremely distressing for her and her mother. Premier, what do you say to them? Uh, importantly, uh, while patients were transported, others remained at the medical tent in the care of the doctor and event medical uh, staff. On the first day of State Parliament this year, the government was under pressure over increasing ambulance wait times. They've blown out by 25% since 2014. Waiting several hours is not unusual, uh, unfortunately, in the current circumstances. If you're a Category 2 or below case, if you're assessed, uh, it's likely that you will wait uh, for an ambulance. The government's confirmed it's making 97 extra paramedics hired during the pandemic permanent. It's taken the government too long to confirm their position on this issue. We confirmed our position a long time ago saying that the Labor government would make those 97 paramedics permanent. Premier Jeremy Rockliffe also used his annual State of the State speech to announce funding for an extra 22,000 endoscopies over four years at a cost of $38 million. Endoscopies are vital for detecting certain types of cancer and the Premier made further health announcements. From Monday the 6th of March, Tasmanian pharmacists will be able to supply a month of medicines after a patient's prescription runs out when a GP is unavailable. Yeah, yeah. Trying for a healthy start to the parliamentary year. Laura Beavis, ABC News.